Hey everyone, let's take a look at our first multiple choice. Suppose that the probability that a cross between two varieties will express a particular gene is 20%. What is the probability that in eight progeny plants, two or fewer plants will express the gene? All right, so if I take a look, I, I do see this buzzword of probability, all right? But if I wanna think about what my variable is, I've got this sample of eight plants and I wanna figure out who's gonna express the gene. Right, so my variable in this particular problem is the number of plants expressing the gene. In my sample of eight. And as I think about this, if you were going to look at eight plants and just try and keep track of did they express the gene or not. Right, and you have these eight plants, zero of the eight plants could express the gene, one of eight plants, two, three, four, all, all the way up to all eight out of those eight plants could express that gene. So this is a discrete variable. And so I might have to make a table, but it's always good to check, hey, is this thing binomial? So let's go through this and see if I have a binomial distribution. So I do have a fixed number of trials. I can talk about success in this context is the plant expresses the gene. All right, I can talk about that the trials are independent, all right, because one plant expressing the gene will not affect whether or not the next plant will express the gene. And they told me the probability of success was 20%. So since I can say yes to all of those things, I am in a binomial distribution all right, and I get to say this variable is binomially distributed. All right, so it's going to have sample or eight trials, 20% chance of success on any one individual trial. So instead of just saying this thing is discrete, I'm actually going to go further and say it's a binomial distribution. All right, and the, the thing about that is if I ever have to calculate a probability, I get binomial PDF and CDF, right? I don't have to make a table. I don't have to make a tree diagram. We just to get to go move on with this. So I want two or fewer plants. So that means x is less than or equal to two. And we actually have a direct calculator command for that. We have binomial CDF. And when I crunch that, I'm going to put 8.2 and then two successes out of that eight, or I should say two or fewer because we are cumulatively doing this. And when I crunch that number on my calculator, I get 0.7969. And just real quick, let me, let me show you what that would look like. I'm going to go on the app but it, it's similar enough for this problem. If I go into binomial CDF, we're gonna go 8.2 and then two. And again, take a look that it's binome CDF, right? It's a cumulative density function, not PDF for a particular value. And there's 0.7969. All right, so if I head back in here, there's my answer, okay?